Hi, indeed, it's my birthday. Um, 54. Um, I feel like I am a optimistic realist, and realism isn't looking so good these days. So today I want to tell you something that, I want to tell you sort of an organizational structure that is giving me enormous optimism. So if you can imagine organizational structures are fascinating, that's what we'll be talking about today. <laughs> um, Twelve years ago, I founded this company, Zipcar. Zipcar buys the cars and parks them throughout dense metropolitan areas for people to use by the hour and the day instead of their own car. Today, there are, uh, I think, 10,000 cars parked throughout North America and the UK, driven by about a million people. The most remarkable part about this, for me, from an environmental standpoint, is that each car is um, replaces 15 or so cars because 40% of the people decide to sell their own car instead of and, and use Zipcar. And about uh, people drive about 60% fewer miles than they otherwise would because now they're paying by the hour and by the day, and the, the full cost of car ownership is there. So for me, Zipcar has been an amazing success. It really um, I think the company is what's made people understand what sharing is all about. It made sharing the norm. Uh, last year, I founded a company called Buzzcar. And Buzzcar really pushes the envelope and takes it to a different level. Buzzcar is where we invest in a community instead of the cars, and individuals rent their own cars to their neighbors. If you think of the excess capacity of what's out there, our cars are driven about 5% of the time. They're sitting all the other rest of the time. And Buzzcar puts the power of uh, autonomy and to car share in the hands of individuals. So individuals, if I have a car, I'm the one who decides that I can park, that I'm going to open it up for other people. And if I'm a person who wants to drive a car, I can find a neighbor who wants to lend it to me. So lots of people think about this. This is in France we did this. So some people call this peer-to-peer. -peer, and I think about peer-to-peer -peer and I think, yeah, you know, peer-to-peer, -peer, that is explaining the humanity of it. but. Peer-to-peer -peer is like yard sales. You know, if you think that eBay is like a yard sale and Etsy is like a craft fair, well, then peer-to-peer -peer describes what's going on. So peer-to-peer -peer for me really talks about the humanity and the intimacy of it, but it's not doing this thing justice. Um, what I like to call it, and so I've now come up with a name, is I think of it as Peers Incorporated. We're taking, it's a partnership between companies and individuals, and together we're getting the boast, best of both worlds. It's a very symbiotic relationship where we share the value creation. And uh, so let's talk about what do the incorporated side of things do. So the company. The company provides all the things that we know companies are fabulous at. They do all the stuff that's economies of scale, these really big purchases and big bulk things. They make investments that take a really long time, that take years and years to make. They make investments that require lots of areas of expertise. They also offer, which we know we love, you know, standards and rules and recourse. So if something goes wrong, I, I understand how to approach it. And it's all kind of bound up in the brand promise that these big companies do. And in this Peers Incorporated model, all of this incorporated side is delivered on, the, on a platform for participation. So what in heck do the individuals do? So the peers, they're doing all the stuff that the company finds really, really expensive to do. They offer this incredible diversity of service offering. They now enable, allow us to do great localization and customization and specialization. All the talk about companies wanting to get into our social networks. The peers, it's me and my own friends. Getting into my own social networks is absolutely trivial. And there's this also amazing aspect of what individuals bring about innovation, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So the peers incorporated this partnership where the individuals are providing the services and the products on this platform for participation. So some examples of this. Um, Carpooling.com, it's the largest car-sharing, ride-sharing ride company in the world. They move a million people a, a month which is the equivalent of 2,500 high-speed trains without buying a train or laying a track. And you can see that they've got this incredible pace of growth. Um, they're 10 years old, and they're out of Germany, and they're throughout Europe, and they're launching in the US, actually, I think, any day now. Um, Fiverr, I met these guys uh, 
three weeks in, and now they're two years old. Fiverr is what would you do for five dollars? And uh, you've got to go check out the site. It's hilarious what you would do for five dollars. And now, two years later, there's 800,000 gigs on Fiverr. So you can see this is just an amazing, amazing growth.、Um, Top Coder. I want to say that it's not all these simple things that you can think about. Top Coder is an engineering and design company. 400,000 engineers are participating. When I talked to their CEO, he was saying that he thinks of Top Coder as a community that happens to have its own company. So again, it's this relationship between the two.、Um, one of my favorites, Etsy.、Uh, Etsy. Most of you probably know is a marketplace of things that people make by themselves or curate themselves. They just celebrated their seventh anniversary last year. They returned, I think, six hundred million dollars worth of sales to the individuals who have put their stuff on Etsy as a marketplace. So, what are we seeing? This incredible pace of growth is possible with these peers and corporate companies. And so, you kind of think, well, if you're a company, you're thinking, "Whoa, I want to do that." And so, indeed, Buzzcar was my launch and foray into this. I want to do that. So now I'm now I'm an expert on what a peers and corporate company kind of looks kind of looks like. So I want to take you back to the year before I launched.、Um, so. One thing that Buzzcar had to do was provide insurance because it took me a year to get that done in France, and I want to say I've been working on it for four and a half years, getting that kind of insurance here in the U.S. So it is a long, brutal process, and working with lawyers and spending tens of thousands of dollars, ripping my hair out, and we have now got an insurance that works for both the two sides of the equation. Doing peers and corporate companies are very tricky because now you have these two markets. We had to find insurance that was really great for the owner of the car, so they're protected, and they don't lose insurance, and they don't get bad driving history, and also for those who want to drive those cars, we have to make something that has a low deductible for them and it has a great, great price point. So, fast forward to the day that we're launching, and all of you guys who have done big events or And entrepreneurs, you know, there's this kind of cutoff before and after. Before all the things going on in your mind, what's going to happen? What's it going to be like? So we launched. This is June 1st last year, and we had this incredible press. Everyone was signing up. They were adding their cars. They were becoming members. They started making reservations, and it's really, really exciting. And I'm thinking, okay. And then here is my look of surprise. <laughs> like I just could hardly believe what was happening. And what was happening was owners. Are getting questions like by SMS or email. Hey, Robin, do you want to rent your car for the weekend and make 60 euros? And what happens? Nothing. Nothing. About 80% of the people could not be bothered to reply, even though they had just signed up with their car and said, "I'm game." It was like this,、uh, amazing. And so, what was the answer? Well, duh. Industrial production. The whole point of industrial production was that you pick a quality price point. And you deliver on that. Every single one is exactly the same, and that's what Zipcar delivers. Is here's what it is, and they're all the same. What eBay discovered early on, as one of the first guys who does this peers incorporated type thing, is that there's this whole left side of the quality curve, and indeed there's a heck of a lot of yuck, and that's why we, they invented ratings and commentaries. And indeed, Buzzcar has ratings and commentaries. So you've got to really flag that stuff on the peer production curve and get it out of the way. Needless to say. There was also a lot of great stuff that I knew came with a peer production thing, and so here is my look of delight because all those things I knew were, did indeed happen.、Um, so as I said, what really happens with peers and corporate is this incredible aboundingness of diversity. So here are some pictures of owners and their cars, and there's cars across France, different kinds of cars, different price points. <laughs> Uh, different places. <laughs> These pictures are so good. I just have to waste a little time on them.、Uh, hipsters, great guys, wonderful people. And what's really delightful about this is that indeed, and here we are. I'm across France. We now, in、uh, 15 months, have 11,000 members、um, and 1,400 cars. And it is really impossible to do that, or incredibly expensive to do that in another way. So going back to the quality spectrum, what we see is that the whole upside of this 
of uh, what individuals can do is there's this amazing innovation. We now have not just one person in the innovation department and not 10 people or 100 people. We have tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people innovating on a certain service or product. And so what you see on this upside is this incredible wow. And in fact, I want to say, wow, like it's amazing. So with Buzzcar, you know, just an example, a person was telling me, uh, a, person, a driver, a person who borrowed the car, said that they were going to an island, and when they went to pick up the car, the owner said, oh, I love that island, and you know, here's where all the cliffs are, and here's the beautiful beaches, and this is my favorite beach, and here's the best fish restaurant. You're not going to get that from Enterprise. You're not going to... And another person needed a car with two baby seats in the back, and here was a car with two baby seats in the back. I mean, we don't get that kind of thing otherwise. So I named Buzzcar Buzzcar because I really wanted us to be... Rem Remember that this was a platform for participation where individuals are, are working and creating in this way that um, has benefits for themselves and for others, this nice structural platform. I, I didn't say, but these platforms for participation are really non-trivial. So think about Google Video and YouTube. Why in heck would YouTube, a startup, beat out over Google Video? Because you have to get these two sides, as I said, owners and drivers, the, the providers and the, the producers and the, and the consumers. And so no doubt YouTube was easier for uploading, uploading video or had a better share button. And it's this, these subtleties of creating these platforms that make it sing. So I want to remind us that it's really non-trivial. But when we can make these platforms and you've got a nice, solid body, it can happen so incredibly fast because the company doesn't have to make this investment. All the people are simultaneously providing their own excess capacity, their own stuff that already exists, and you can make it really fast. So now to go to a slightly darker place. Um, I think about the world's challenges all the time, and I'm really terrified about our future. And so this peers incorporated model for me is truly my, my optimism when I'm feeling incredibly dejected about the speed and urgency with which we have to deal with these problems. This is the mechanism that we've seen time and time again over the last decade, that if you can get that platform right, people can go so fast. It can happen instantaneously, sort of, in a kind of... <laughs> not quite instantaneously. So in the transportation sector, you know, we have these bus car and these other um, car sharing, com ride sharing companies in energy and education. There's, there's this peers and corporate model. And so when I look at all these biggest world's problems, I'm feeling like we can do this. Like we, we can do it. And I encourage you guys to think about ways that you can create platforms for participation or you can be the participants and get onto that. It is a mechanism where this, putting these two together, it gives us, it delivers the speed of collective action while preserving the ingenuity and creativity of individuals. So it's a fabulous partnership. And if we think about how the internet, we talk about how it's empowered people, and it has. This is all based on the internet. And we now, as individuals, have the power of the internet. Peers Incorporated takes it up a level. It gives you not only the power of the internet, but the power of a company, big companies. All that stuff is now in your individual power to make these things happen. And so I want to say, let's go. Yeah.